Hello, this is Chris Jackson from ActionQA.com. In this section, we're going to talk about locator strategies. That's the ways that we can access elements on a web page. For the most part, we're going to be using either CSS selectors, which is the default of Nightwatch, or XPath. These are the two most popular that we're going to be using. But there's three others, link text, partial link text, and tag name, which I will also cover just for com completeness. And there might be some usefulness for it somewhere in your test. By default, CSS selectors are used. But you can switch the default for a particular file back and forth using useCSS and usePath functions. So this will only change the current test file, but not all test files. If you go to use XPath and call this method, then everything else in that file is going to use XPath. But the next file, another test that comes up, isn't. It'll go back to using the default use CSS strategy. So to get started with this, let's create a brand new test directory, install Nightwatch, and open up an empty test to get started. So I've covered this in a previous tutorial, so I'm going to go through this really quick and just quickly create a new spot for us to run Nightwatch tests. I'm going to make a directory, call it toots for tutorials. And first I'm going to install package.json. Set all the defaults. In this package.json, I'm going to install Nightwatch and save it as a dev dependency. And I'm going, just for, just to be quick here, I'm only going to install Chrome driver here because we're only going to run test against Chrome for this particular example. I can install Firefox Gecko's driver, Firefox's Gecko driver later. Perfect. And now I should be able to, we need to generate a default configuration file. And that, is just running Nightwatch for the very first time with no tests or anything defined. And see right here, generates a Nightwatch config file. So now I'm going to open up Visual Studio. There we go. So I want to define a test folder that's going to hold all the tests. Go back over here. I'm going to create a directory called uh, test. And that's what I'm going to put right here. Test. Now, in here, under the test directory, I'm going to create a new test file. Call it uh, selectors.js. Quickly just write out a new empty test. It would be module.exports. Nope. Tools. And then we're going to do test uh, CSS and XPath. That'll be the name of the test. And then we're going to go function, call in the browser object, which tells us everything from Selenium. And there we go. We are ready to start writing a test. And in the next section, I'm going to show you the website that we're going to use to test against, and we'll get started on writing all the test steps. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a little ugly web page I made. Uh, I'll pause this right here so you can see and type in this. The, this URL will also be in the notes, so you can find that really quick and type this in. You'll see it just has some ugly examples for us to use, and the first part of this is going to concentrate on this section here. We're going to try and put a value inside this input field, and we're going to use both XPaths and CSS selectors via the use CSS and use XPath methods. So let's get started on that. I'm going to copy this URL. 
and we're going to want to navigate to the page first thing. Browser.url. And I just copied that URL over. Hit the wrong thing. I switched back and forth between Mac and uh, PC. So by the end of the day, I switch over to Windows, and then I forget all my how to use the keyboard. So I apologize for that. Okay, the browser.url, and I want to put a pause right here so we can see the page load, and we're just going to run this really quick to make sure everything is set up before we go any further. I'm going to go to the command shell, and here under that toot directory, I'm going to run npx nightwatch, and I want to use the Chrome environment. If I wanted to use Firefox, I would just go dash e Firefox. But for this one, I want to use Chrome. So, Nightwatch E Chrome should launch things. Should open the website. It's going to pause for a couple seconds. Boom, there we go. Did that correct. Go back to the test. And what we're going to do here, I'll just reduce this to one second. We're going to want to uh, use both XPath and a CSS selector. So I'm just going to define two variables that are going to be the CSS selector and another variable called the XPath selector. And then we're going to go back to that page and just get the uh, CSS selector and the XPath selector for that input field. So the way I always do it, on Windows, I go Control-Shift-I. And if you're on Mac, you want to do Options-Command-I. And that'll open up the dev tools right here on the right. Then I go to this little tiny arrow guy right here. And I can click on this. And if we right-click here and go to Copy, we can copy the CSS selector and we can copy the XPath. So I'm going to copy the CSS selector which should give us this nice ID if it's defined. There we go. Perfect. And then let's go grab the XPath selector for this guy. Copy. XPath. Oh, and you see I have to use single quotes since it's using double quotes inside its... There we go. Okay. So by default, Nightwatch uses CSS selectors. So what I want to do is use a function called set value to write some text into this input field. So browser dot set value. And the first thing it wants is a selector. CSS selector. And the value we want to put is, let's say, this is CSS. And of course, we're going to want to set a pause right here for a couple of seconds. So we can see what happens. Two seconds. All right, let's run this and see what occurs. And just to make this easier to see so it's not at the bottom. MPX, Nightwatch, Ash E, Chrome, go. Here it goes, it opens the web page, and it should, there we go, adds this is CSS. However, if we tried to put the XPath in here, this is XPath, and then try to rerun that. And then think about it. And then you can see in the background here, it's trying over and over again to do the right thing. And finally, it just barfs and says, hey, there's no such element. The reason is, is it trying to use this as a CSS selector and it just cannot find what's going on. So, you want to switch the test over to using only XPaths after a certain point.
you would use use XPath. And now that should work. Let's see, let's clear out all this stuff and Oh, there we go. This is XPath. And now you wanted to switch back over to using CSS. Browser. Well, first thing I want to do is clear that value. So let's use the CSS selector. Going to clear things out. And then browser.set value. CSS selector. And then this is CSS again. And then we'll add a little pause right here for another couple seconds so we can see what's happening. Okay, clear this out and run everything. There you go, XPath. Now we're going to switch over to CSS. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And that's how you can switch back and forth between using XPath and use CSS. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, this is Chris Jackson from actionqa.com. Please head over to actionqa.com for more resources and tips. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.